Oh, hello, friends. Welcome to my home. Do you smell that? Do you smell that in the air? It's unemployment. Oh, God, guys, my girlfriend's out of town. So most of my time is spent with a good old bear. He's the only one who listens to my woes. Bear, I didn't get all of those jobs that I tried out for. I feel like he's gonna get cast in something before I do. In like an all bear industry reading of, of Fanny. Is that a musical? Annie is of course a musical, but is there one called Fanny? That's really funny. Isn't Fanny like an old timey word for butt? Ooh, but if I got a guest, to, to melt the, the hair off your chin today. What does that mean? Sometimes they say like, oh, this is a drink that'll, that'll take the hair right off your chest. And who would want to drink that? I'll tell you what, sometimes when I'm out and someone says, hey, I want, I'll, I'll, let me get you a drink, Jared. And I say, one Shirley Temple, please. And I say it with no shame, with no irony. I mean it completely genuinely because Shirley Temples are A, timeless, B, delicious, C, Tropical in nature. Lena Tony winning f***ing haul. Cats. Kinky boots. She just won the Tony for Hedwig. She has a bad. Enjoy. What is that? I went to Dunkin' Donuts today. I go every day, by the way. They know me by name and order. What's the order? A large iced tea, two egg and cheese wraps, and an order of hash browns. My guess from that is that you don't cook? No. No. I don't have time to cook! She has time to do the show and to shine the award. Oh, wait, okay, first, wait, hang on. Here it comes. Oh god, no, it's right there. Wait, are you gonna bring- Oh, I thought she was bringing the Tony! And she brought the Dunkin' Donuts! Why no coffee? I never liked it. But it keeps you regular. <laughs> I know, and I just got it oh, back, and it has my name on it. You have 90 seconds from when they say your name, right? You have 90 seconds. Were there things that you kind of wish you could have said in your speech that you didn't? Yeah, I yes. had- Yes, well. Allow me to <laughs> give you a venue right now oh, to say the things in, this, in a segment that I call that I've only done once before with Billy Porter. The things you wish you could have said before they started playing the f***ing music. They didn't play the music off because I went so fast. I was so scared. The things you wish you had said you were too before scared. you were too scared to finish. <laughs> Lena Hall. <laughs> Jesus, why do you rush yourself? I really had just wanted to say thank you to them for allowing me to take a character that's so silent and give him life through action. Wow. I bet you wish you could have heard that at the Tony's. I'm so happy I gave you this, this avenue. Maybe you should thank me in the speech too, because some thank people you. didn't know that. What's your name again? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> What's my first and last name? Do you know? Zerilli. Okay, she knows. Because we've performed together. You might not know because you think Garbage Bag Jared and Tony Winner. I don't believe it. We have we sang together. Not together, but in the same concert. You look confused, <laughs> but you remember. What concert? What concert did we do? Amy Winehouse? <laughs> yes. I was not asked. Finger wag. This is why I think you shouldn't have changed your name. Because if you left it as Selena, what's the whole thing? Consuela Gabriela Carvajal. Ooh! If you had left it as that, then you could do this in the face of anybody <laughs> saying, Go f*** yourself, and they legally could not stop you. They still legally can't, because I am Spanish. Do you? <laughs> I can do it, I can do it. No, damn it. it You're so good at it. I need peanut butter. Do you have peanut butter? It like makes the top of the roof of your mouth so sticky. Huh. Your experiment? <laughs> Is that enough? Yeah. You gotta try it after too, though. Get a finger in No, there. I don't need to try, because I can do it. Okay. <laughs> Let's see it. It's good peanut butter, by the way. That is good. <laughs> Mm, this feels good. <laughs> oh god, I can't do it long! Mm. Oh! <laughs> Don't question me and my peanut butter Ooh. theories. Here's a new segment. I'm gonna photoshop in whatever f***ing animal you want. Tell me what your favorite animal is. <laughs> what did you not understand? Are you thinking? What is my favorite animal? Um, uh, Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Can I have Pinkie Pie? What is that? From My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. If I was represented on the show by any of the ponies, okay. it would actually be Sweetie Belle. Oh. And Sweetie Belle is one of the younger ponies. She hasn't found her calling yet. She hasn't gotten her um, her cutie mark yet. Her what? Her cutie mark. I can't take it! Would you like to portray one of these animals on stage sometime? Do you? I don't know, but I'd love to voice the character. Let's put that out there. Maybe someone will see it. And maybe, yeah. maybe they'll work for them. Yeah, and how many people see this? Upwards of 20. <laughs> Cats. The musical. 
Yes. Was that your first Broadway show? It was my first Broadway show. What a joy to get to be a cat. Which cat were you? Demeter. Which one's that? Oh, Macavity. She was the Macavity cat. She was raped by Macavity. Oh, I didn't know cats got that dark. Oh, cats got dark. It's actually much darker than anyone could imagine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did not know that. Because not only did... Not oh my only, god, don't cry. No, I'm not crying. Not only did she get raped by Macavity, but she's torn because she kind of liked it. I had no idea. A, the cast was dark, and that B, there was rape involved. Mm, oh my god, yeah. Mm, choreographer, Jillian Lynn, brilliant, and this woman I love. All of her choreography is extremely sexual. And when the white cat would slide down into the splits, she would say, it's like you're sliding down onto a gigantic <laughs> and it feels marvelous, darling. This is Greta Garbone. She just came back from a walk. What's the best part of having your owner be a Tony winner? Right. <laughs> but there has to be, a, like, what's the downside? <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> During Cats, sorry, I'm gonna ask a question about your mortal enemy in the form of a musical. During Cats, show us your favorite unchoreographed cat gesture that you had in the show. I was like a skitsy cat. What does that mean? Like that you were- Like, you know, like a scaredy cat. Like the cats that are like, like always like, but when when I had gentle moments, it was this gesture. And you pat the ground? Yeah, it was like you were, you were pushing the dirt back. Okay. Cause you had just farted. <laughs> and that was a way to tell everyone on stage to avoid this area. I'm thrilled by that. You gave me everything I wanted and more. You do eight shows a week for two and a half years. Everyone honestly. was farty sometimes. Every That's gross and awesome. I know there's so many people right now who are mad at me for admitting that I, I am gross sometimes. If anyone watching this doesn't appreciate that she <laughs> shared that with us, you're watching the wrong <laughs> vlog. So that means <laughs> Heads up, fellow cat actors. And some people would be cruel about it, and they wouldn't tell anyone, but they did it on purpose because they wanted you to run into it. You'd it just so be bad. trying to do like a cat jeté, and you'd end up <laughs> in a whirlwind of fart that you weren't expecting. Sometimes, sometimes it would be so bad that you would literally adjust where you were staged. On sitting on stage because you couldn't take it. I think I'll meow stage left today <laughs> because someone left an unannounced cat fart stage right. Yes. Now that I know this, I'm so happy I know this now. <laughs> did you ever fart and not give the? No, I always gave them, okay. <laughs> That's why actors like working with you. Because <laughs> I bet you, those cat farters who didn't give heads up, they're blacklisted and they're not working anymore. Did you eat anything to celebrate winning the Tony? Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> okay, picture this with me. You're in jail. Yes. You're on death row. Hash browns. A Dunkin' Donuts hash brown mound. Oh my god, I will gorge myself. As your final meal. As my final meal. It might kill me. It might, and, but that'd be good because it was either cool, that or the electric chair like, a couple yeah. minutes later. If okay. you could pick something to be arrested for, what would it be? Uh, mine would be, we're rocking too hard. Mine would be for stealing the hearts of, of America. <laughs> what other dude role would you like to play? Uh, race barriers aside, showboat included. <laughs> uh, Judas. How would you like to end this, baby? We should be on a tropical island. We're on a tropical island, here we are. Is there Play. anyone else here with us or just us? Uh, oh, Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie, Pinkie Pie. Island Sun. And we're listening to the song Love Touch by Rod Stewart. Guys, I don't even know what that <laughs> song is, but I'm gonna look it up, I'm gonna download gonna it, it right now. and here it is. Gotta give you my love touch. Yeah. You can't just tweet anything. I try people to will be like, clever. oh, that's a stupid tweet. I'm always going for clever. Always. You gotta go clever. Yeah. Or it's like, what's the point of that tweet?